Hi there, welcome to Going Coastal this week, and uh, the entire hour we'll be coming to you from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and our coverage of the coolest indie pop festival in Canada, the Halifax Pop Explosion, including stuff with the Weaker Thans, Duo Tang, and bands too numerous to mention, so do not go away. saw four shows uh, out of 75. Uh, I spent most of my time in the uh, the uh, loner van from the Daily News driving around helping to bust problems. But hey, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I had many drunken musicians at the marquee on Saturday night uh, tearfully telling me how glad they were that it came back. Or in the case of the weaker thans, they'd never been to the pop explosion, didn't know what it was until they got here. And uh, uh, they said that it was one of the best music festivals in Canada. They were really happy they'd come back any time. And it was really worthwhile. It was a good time. Logistics for all the fly-ins were a big deal, especially for Chicks on Speed. They played in New York the, the day before they played in Halifax, and because of 9-11, uh, the flights from Halifax to New York and from Halifax to everywhere are cut back to about half of what they were uh, a month and a half ago. So they got off stage at about 3 in the morning uh, in New York. Uh, we're on a plane at 6.30 in the morning. Uh, international flight. Uh, had to stop in Boston for three hours and then come to, to Canada. They were basically traveling for eight hours, nine hours to get here on two hours sleep. Uh, got two hours sleep at the hotel here. Uh, when did Soundtrack did the show? <laughs> Well, the Peaches thing, I think, was a little bit more than some of the crowd was used to. Yeah, you don't often see that in Halifax. So she told me later on in her dressing room, like, she is one of the nicest people you're ever going to meet, that she's never been naked on stage, and every report you've ever seen in the media about that is a complete utter lie. Uh, but uh, she definitely got the crowd going. It was, it was something else. It was a good show. coming showcasing part the pop explosion is a little different from most of the other national festivals in that we don't ha so much have standalone showcases where uh, up and coming or unknown bands play and the industry gets to see them what we do is we just have them play uh, at the clubs opening for the East headlining acts that we have and so we had uh, bands both local and from away uh, apply uh, just like they would for any other festival, but it was really funny because we said applications are due by this date to this address with no information about what we were looking for whatsoever. So we got everything from the handwritten note from the band in the valley asking if they could play with their cassette that they dubbed to, you know, incredibly professional kits from uh, people who do, you know, pop music a la NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys who wanted their band to play as well as a headliner. So it was, it was really interesting process. Back when you refused to think that your life was precious, metals and bros. So full speed ahead for next year. Absolutely. We're uh, looking at the dates aren't firm. We think it's going to be October 3rd, 4th, and 5th, which would be the weekend before Thanksgiving. Might be the weekend before that, the last weekend of September, but uh, it'll be on our, our new revamped website. It'll be online by the time people see this, and, uh, and the dates should be online sometime next week. So you can look forward to that. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations. I thought it was a great time, and it was wonderful to have it back. Thanks, and thanks for all your support. It was <laughs> good.
email from somebody who was completely freaked out because apparently she heard that the band had, just, had broken up and it was yeah. the end. Although you didn't, you didn't seem upset. You thought it was a good idea to spread that rumor. <laughs> I am still for that. We're breaking up. <laughs> no, we're not. What else would we do? writing songs at the beginning of September we started taking uh, kind of a hiatus and this is uh, we're just doing small um, things that interest us like this great Halifax pop explosion which I think is a great festival and uh, yeah we're, we're writing and, and uh, doing various things that um, you know help us maintain real lives aside from the fantasy world of the bizarre, absurdist fantasy world of uh, being a touring rock band. Uh, what is it about this particular event that you like? I like that it's um, less focused on uh, silly industry issues and more focused on music and that um, it's, it's just has a really good feel to it. It's, uh, it's, first off, it's a great city for an event like this, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and I think the, there seems to be real taste involved in, in who they booked. 